Believe it or not, mosquitoes are the deadliest creatures on the planet. They are found on every continent except Antarctica. Mosquito-borne diseases collectively affect millions of people worldwide every year, causing significant morbidity and mortality. Why mosquitoes need to bite people is to get a blood meal so that their eggs would mature and then the, the, the species can survive. Mm -hmm. But more than just the 700,000 deaths, we have more than 390 million cases of dengue throughout the world every year. Mm -hmm. And malaria, again one of the most um, deadliest diseases in the world, in 2022 alone, there were more than 600,000 deaths due to malaria and 250 million cases of malaria worldwide. Dr. Dukaran explains malaria is spread by the Anopheles mosquito, which we have in Trinidad and Tobago. He notes we have been designated malaria-free since 1965, although there are an estimated 10 imported cases every year. Dengue fever, Zika and chikungunya are spread by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. The difference with malaria and dengue, though, is dengue is endemic in Trinidad. Mm. We have dengue circulating in our population and we have a certain number of cases every year. So the rainy season tend to increase the breeding sites and the, the number of cases of dengue um, is usually increased during that period. Dr. Dukaran says it takes just one bite of one mosquito to transfer these viruses. And while there is a very good vaccine for yellow fever, another mosquito-borne disease, there is no such prevention against dengue, chikvi, or Zika. We have to ensure we clean around our homes. We don't have food boxes and um, sanitary cups lying around the homes. If we are storing water, and a lot of us do store water, um, we have to ensure that if it is in drums and buckets, the drums and buckets are properly screened. Dr. Dukaran says in the past, there were a lot of natural predators, like the dragonfly, as dragonfly larvae feed on mosquito larvae. But due to chemical spraying for agriculture, these predator populations have almost died out. So even when we thought that chemicals were a quick fix and we'd get rid of mosquitoes totally with chemicals, we realized that after a period of time, it has gotten worse because the chemicals um, we cannot spray every day, yeah. every time, yeah. and the natural predators have been destroyed. Dr. Dukaran notes that people are most vulnerable to mosquito bites when they are asleep, but he has this advice to reduce the chances of being bitten during waking hours. So if you are going out, wear long sleeve um, shirts, mm -hmm. long, long pants to ensure that uh, mosquitoes don't bite us. We are sleeping, we can sleep under nets, right? And we also want to protect mosquitoes from getting into our homes. Guttering, old tires, ornamental plants, flower pots, and even bottle caps can be breeding sites. When we get rid of places where mosquitoes lay their eggs, it helps keep us and our neighborhoods healthier. That means fewer chances of getting sick from diseases like dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. I'm Karen Kozia-Philip with your TDT News Health Check.